a nims uh, i. Now this is our next thing we're going to copy because uh, otherwise we're just going to do this all night. Um, dot and yeah, literally all night because timing is tick tocking. So then we go uh, dot type of uh, equals equals image. Now put that in capitals because that's what declared as. All right. So if it equals image, now there's two types of um, a name. So I'm just going to get comfortable here. There's two types of a name. There's uh, image and there's sprite. The reason why we've got two different ones is because um, you can't draw an image and a sprite in the exact same way on this. I really tried so you could, but you can't. Um, and this costs us, costs us an extra class, which is map handling animations, which is a bit of a bastard. So then we've got that, and then we say. Um, Yeah, so, uh, yeah, next thing we say, we say, um, if, yeah, so if type image equals image, then we say, if a name's i dot id equals equals map open open, um, and then just basically it's this. Just gonna copy that. Uh, x plus y plus sign num, yep. So if it equals this, then what we're gonna say is found right element equals true. Now, <laughs> Looking back on this, I wrote this code quite a few months ago. Looking back on this, I could have done not this whole code because this is new, but things I like found right element. You can simply just break out of the loop without doing any creating a new variable. So that was a bit of my bad there, but we've got it now, so we're just going to stick with it. So if db timer, I'm going to have to take a break in a minute because I want to check to make sure the files are okay and have a drink. Um, so if db timer minus nims, oh damn it. Where did I copy that? Should only copy the main thing. Dot <coughs> an MSI dot timer. They tell you to give um, um, to give your variables uh, good descriptive names, but then uh, what the hell? Good names, but y if you do that, then you're gonna spend hours writing it for it. So I don't know. Either way, you get screwed. So if it's small names, then you can't read them and you don't understand what they're doing. And if it's big names, you spend half an hour writing them. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways. So, um, sorry, this is greater than 80. This, this is what I get for talking stupid stuff whilst I'm doing this. Um, a nims i dot timer equals db timer. And then we've got a nims i dot frames. So, what we're doing here is we're changing the frames of the animation. This, as you'll see, will apply to many different animations, all kinds. Which is the beauty of this bit of code frames. Nothing special. I mean, I'm pretty sure any of you guys could do this, but I feel quite happy about that because I'm. I like to think of myself as a big dumbass, and um, I think that helps when I'm teaching people because um, <laughs> when you're being told by someone that's very dumb, then you basically, uh, well, you can't uh, not learn really because it's everything's so simplified for you. Anyways. So an imsi dot busy dot busy equals true. Uh, does it equal true? No, it equals false. So we finish the animation. So if it equals the highest frame, something we set at map handling animations. If it equals the highest frame, well, it's no longer busy. You finish doing the animation. So make it false. So it can be used with another image later on. So then we're saying map. Copy this. Is it exp? Uh, excuse me. So um, uh, equals. Uh, and names N um, i dot final frame now final frame is something we set basically once a, an animation is finished an example of this is the flower animation once that is finished right what what we want to do so you bump the question um, the flower box and you bump you bump it and the flower comes out and that's where this animation comes in right so it does the animation and then highest frame is the frame we chose for that tile to be after you've um, done the animation so in our example we chose a flower so we chose it this is an actual f in the flower example, so final frame equals an F on that. So it's saying once you finish doing the animation, put this image there and leave it there. So that's so we can pick up the flower. Um, and finally, um, so do that once, twice. Uh, we do db paste image here, as usual. db paste image, and we do that. And what we do is uh, uh, an image, um, an ims. Yeah, so an ims. 
it's called me copy and paste master set image um, plus an imzai dot uh, frames so we don't need this original stuff here we just need this so we need and we display it at the usual uh, location now don't ask me anything about this for me because like I said this is uh, strictly um, pizza man's work it's not mine so I can't really go into detail he saved my ass and provided me with the collision and uh, that's why he's getting the credit for it um, so that's that and this method is complete well not method sorry <laughs> that would be good if this was done um, so we do that it's nearly done though else so something I do recommend I probably should have said this earlier but is that um, really what you should be doing is um, taking a break every now and then I'll, I'll hopefully be doing the same thing because this is a couple of hours do a bit of it, do maybe do a class, finish it take a break, do another class and so on because um, something I should be doing as well because there will come a point where I'll start making stupid mistakes on and on so I'll probably only do a few more classes and I'll continue in the morning, you won't see a difference, it'll be like magic um, for you guys because I'll be there immediately, but um, I think that's just how it works. If you spend too many hours doing it, you just end up making a series of mistakes. That's me anyway. Um, you guys might not have the same problem, but I do. Uh, so we're saying um, G is a Goomba now. What we're d what we're saying here is basically if you wrote Goomba on the map, basically you want to spawn a Goomba there. So first thing you want to do there is we want to change that tile to an A. So X um, plus tile on X, so basically this point going around it equals A. So we change that tile first thing to an air tile. So spawn the Goomba. So now we're going to spawn the Goomba by saying, and we don't want this actually. We're saying um, now this is going to be under comment because we don't want this yet. Enemy dot. We're gonna. I'll let you know when you need to uncomment this. Don't worry about that. Create enemy. Now we haven't even got this method cre created. So. Uh, create enemy and we're going to give this location here which is x as usual is this here so we're going to say um, spawn him at this collision uh, so copy and paste that um, yeah that's pretty much it that's all you need for that part and um, what this will do at the, at the time it'll, it'll be like oh hang on we found the G spawn that Goomba right and um, create him the enemy, but don't worry about that for now. Actually, something I think is a fairly good idea. Just write here in capitals just before it, so later on we can immediately pinpoint the ones, because there'll be one or two more things that we need to comment. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do that, and we're going to do it for um, a uh, M. Actually, this is for Mario, by the way. This is going to spawn Mario. <coughs> uh, and just like the just like the Goomba. I had to copy the Mario's way of spawning because I was having a lot of trouble with the Goombas. It's ridiculous. Um, I almost gave up doing this because of how much I struggled with a small bit of code. It's like sometimes all it takes is like doing one line. You do one line or you change one small thing, change like a plus to a minus, and you fix something that was annoying you so much. It's ridiculous. So if oh, oh my god, what was I doing? If Mario spawned. So we do that equals equals false. So if he hasn't spawned, then we're declaring him a spawned. Um, something you could do actually equals Mario spawned. I s I've seen this a way of saying equals the opposite of what it used to equal a few times, which I think is quite cool. Um, we won't be doing it. You can do it if you like, but it's just something I found cool. Um, Amateur hour, I am aware. Um, and then what you do is just like this, we do. Um, let's just copy that. Be lazy. We want to do this. My events dot um, create player. Oops, player. So we're gonna create the player. Um, what else? We don't see, need to send anything else in there. So just like before, we put a big here just before it. So that when we get to the time, we'll display Mario and we'll put him on the on the screen. Now let's just finish doing this one. Uh, there's only one or two small ones to go. It's actually quite straightforward now. 
So just copy that. And then we're going to do a build to check for any errors. And then if we find any, we fix them and we move on to the next part. So we're saying if equals g small g big m. Now this is a green mushroom which we'll have secretly put in. Uh, you can have 500 of them if you like. That's fully up to you. I'm going to put db paste image here. Um, oh, sh yeah, delete this because I don't want this here. So we're going to uh, paste the image and we're going to paste it at the image, should be this one, I believe. And I like that. Actually, sorry, it's, it should be one up. Um, 1 plus 16. Now, this basically means, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. This basically means is on the 1 up animation, the 16 different frames, and then you put it to the last frame because that's the frame where the mushrooms all the way up. And that sounds definitely right. So, else, yeah, else here, we don't need an if. We're saying else, we copy this here. Saying else, anything else, air tiles, um, any other kind of stuff, just <laughs> I don't know what else other than air tiles actually, I don't know, but anything else, just display what is on the array, okay, and that's as simple as that. And this method is complete, completings indeed. Right, so I'm just going to close this here to make sure I've got the right one, yep, there you go. Um, and then we're going to do a few more methods. I think we just need one or two uh, to finish this um, class. And this is going to be our display level method. Level. Now, um, something I'm going to ask you guys, if you're not too much of a big fan of this, like, because um, I do I do give you guys the source anyway, it doesn't matter. The source. But yeah, I do give you guys the source code anyway, um, so I'm not really bothered about that. Um, but if you guys prefer, like, if you prefer this way, then um, this th it is a lot of trouble for me to do this. It's like a lot of work and a lot of time. But I don't mind doing it as long as some people actually make good use of it. Um, if you guys just are happy enough with the, because um, I know some people prefer just to get the source code and read read because I always put comments on my code, read the comments themselves and understand it that way. Um, if you pref if you like it, because I know some people aren't as experienced as others, and uh, if you prefer things to be done um, that way, then um, you know you, you don't really mind if you, if I do it like this one. Then let me know, because um, then like um, if if some people still are interested in this, then I don't mind doing it. I'm fine with it. It's about a bit of work, and I won't always do it, but most of the time I should. Um, but yeah, if you prefer this, if you if you like me explaining things, if you think oh this is kind of useless because you know comments do the explaining for them, so um, you just really need to be spending a few hours doing this, spending making a few hours worth of videos that we won't watch. So really, if that's the case, then uh, you know there's no problem. Just let me know, then I won't do them. Um, you know, um, it's not a problem for me. Because it's a lot of work um, off. Because each of these takes like quite a lot of hours to do. You got the recording, you got the editing, Sony Vegas, and all that bullshit. Uh, the rendering is just insane amounts of time. One time I think it took 24 hours to render a video. It's ridiculous. And my PC isn't too bad. It's fairly good actually, but it's just how Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas? I don't think they call it Sony anymore, but anyway. What we're doing here, we're defining a few things so we can. Um, this is really where we display our level, and we use two for loops <coughs> to draw the whole lev level, pretty much. So uh, we're going to define timpax equals map x, um, and then here we do um, tile num x tile num x. This is how we know exactly which uh, thing to display tile size x. And once again, this is tile size. Once again, this is work from the Pizza Master. Uh, Pizza Man, that is. Tile size x. Does that recognize it? Good. Um, everything else you see from then here onwards will be either mine or stolen and stuff that I say is mine. So, <coughs> if I took it off the site, I won't be telling you that. But um, I'm pretty sure most of the work from here onwards is um, copyrighted. No, it's not copyrighted, but it is done by me, I think. Should be anyway. So, tile size y, um, 